is behind the lines. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go for your autonomous period. We see a different placement of cubes this time in this match. Almost everybody's starting with a cube, except for the Falcons, who here to have a comb, but they did drop it off. Waffles trying to balance on the charge station. They have for your Red Alliance. Your Blue Alliance, Sparkling H2O, tried to go up, but can't quite get engaged. Their last partner is the Wolverines. A quick ram against the grid, and they've dropped out their, their cone into the hybrid known on the bottom there. Middle of the field is where the action is now, is those preloaded game pieces that have been left on the field by each alliance really make the difference. You'll notice the Red Alliance picked entirely cones, whereas the Blue Alliance picked entirely cubes. We'll have to see how that works out for them. Currently, we got a sizable lead for your Red Alliance unofficially. Waffles, your number one ranked seed, spinning away from the Wolverines, trying to grab another cone, making sure they have the ability to, and they're back to their grid already trying to score. Your Alliance partner's Falcons pop up a, a cube high into the outer grid. Here comes the Waffles making the first link of the match. Second link, excuse me, there was already a link for your Blue Alliance in a hybrid node. The link for your Red Alliance, though, is in that crop vision grid, which means we can get some game pieces in that center crop grid for your Blue Alliance, we can lower that sustainability bonus. A collision between two blue robots and Sparkling H2O ends up on their wheels, but they are still going. All four wheels back on the ground. So your second link for your blue lines has been made, but that first link unfortunately looks to have been de-scored. That cube did come out of that bottom hybrid node. We'll have to be placed back in. Here come the waffles for your red alliance. The Falcons have already placed a cone. The waffles placed another cone, making your second red alliance link. We can get one more cone up there for your red alliance. We can see three links this match. We have yet to see this tournament with sustainability bonus, so that would be super cool if one of these alliances could do it in our qualification period here. Our blue loading zone is currently silent as 6977 is coming back across the field with a cube in their possession. Their alliance from the Scorch makes to are dead in the water. Waffles coming over with a cone as we hit our end game timer, trying to drop it off, but they do miss, meaning we will not see a third, or perhaps we'll have to see where alliances go with this. Wolverines trying to get up on the charge station for blue. They're going up. Falcons trying to get up for red. Waffles coming to join them. Now they just got a balance of 15 seconds left on the clock. Cyber Squad placing another cube down into the hybrid node there. They do unfortunately hit the side of the node. Red Alliance is still not balanced. They've only got five seconds left in this match. Waffles are not going up. They are tipping over. And your Red Alliance will not get that ranking point. And unfortunate end of that match, we'll be right back with your official score. We've got a score for you. Turn your attention to the screen. It's going to be your Red Alliance. Final score, 76 to 32. Only two ranking points for your Red Alliance, but that is going to leave Waffles as our number one ranked seed and drop the Cyber Squad for your Blue Alliance down to our sixth position. We'll be right back for qualification match number